buddy. This is Emerald MC, your guide to everything in Minecraft now, because everything is everything, and I just said so. But, yep, we're on a new world. There's been some uh, changes of the stuff. I no longer have Thumbcraft 4. There was some conflicts with it. I didn't like it. I re-added Tinker's Construct, and now there's not really... I haven't found that problem yet. I may have to take it out again. Depends on what goes on. So, let's get started. Oh, wood. Let's see, I am on... Okay, the right key mode and everything. Let's grab all the torches. All the torches! And I'm in a forest again, and it's a snow biome. I feel like I'm cursed to snow biomes forever. Dang it. I keep hitting Q. Oh! <gasps> And I almost, like, used the vine. Look at those ore bushes. It's like the vine, um, you can... Sometimes it'll break your shift. So, I almost just got, like, flung into the abyss and lost all of my wood. That I was given at the start. And, as everybody knows, that's not good. But, this is... Odd. Like, pretty odd. My opinion. We're in a jungle, and then a huge snowy biome. On either, on like, every side of this thing. So, I guess I'm sort of forced into the jungle. Because I hate snow. <laughs> snow is evil. Um. The snow. I've had to deal with snow a lot in the past, and I'm don't like it. Holy oh, oh, come on guy. You said you would do it. But you forgot to do it. Okay. There you go. Kid, okay. okay, so we chopped this tree. One tree down. So there's six of that. Yes. This is, like, all the stuff that you can get from the, um, <sighs> Tinker's Construct you can make. There's, like, a life bar necklace ring or bracelet or something. Um, belt, maybe? Gloves, mask, and a bag of sorts. I have a lot of mods that have bags. Let's just search. Bag? Oh, no. Pack. So, there's Aperist stuff. This is the um, Project Red, and then this is the actual backpack mod, which I'm going to be using. Because these have limitations, not sure how those, I don't know, those costed a lot to make. Like, tons and tons of string well the the um backpack mod just costs like leather stuff so it's a lot more of a convenience Ooh, yes a desert good but we are actually going to use that ravine that we found now if this is a type of stone that um like you can't really uh, no it doesn't become cobblestone that's how i should have said it um I'm gonna have some anger to spill. Don't use your axe. Get one pickaxe, get one torches. Never mind. Okay, this is cobblestone. So this is I think that I'm I'm actually mm, Let's see. Coma. Huh. Okay. Maybe it's not. I swore that comatite isn't spelled like that. I, s I could have sworn that it was only spelled with one eye. It could be sort of an automated generation of the name. But if, if that's the case, then yeah, it's just a misspelling of the original stone. 
but otherwise, <laughs> that is horrible. Now, look how, I mean, there's obviously those lighting glitches, but look how nice this ravine looks. It's got that and has like some um, stripes of other <laughs> types of uh, brick, no, stone. Bricks. Bricks, yes. And uh, type the bricks. Okay. No. I needed that. So yes, the thumbcraft is out. I I felt like I wasn't gonna use it very often anyways. I remember it created quite a bit of lag. Um and some of them I didn't really like how the um tainted I almost called it corruption spreads. Um, because that could, I mean, oh, it's, it's kind of cool, but it's sort of like, it spawned, in my opinion, at least, way too often, way too often. Like, every single world that I've made had a corruption so, cru taint so close to spawn that I was, like, I had to go like a hundred blocks or so away where so I felt so I was at a spot where I oh no no okay good where I felt that um, I was actually safe from the tainted monsters and stuff so yeah we're pretty much just cleaning out this uh, sweet little ravine uh-huh. I'm mostly just going to grab that iron that I saw. Okay. So there's some iron and then there's some coal. But I think I'm going to mark this as ravine. One. Just because um, of the fact that we might want to come back here. There's some ore bushes and a reasonable amount of like copper and copper if you've ever played industrial craft and a lot of act actually a lot of mods that is very important <laughs> copper is pretty much one of the more essential sort of items oh. sort of one of the more essential um, ores in the game well, in the mod game same difference but we're gonna go over head on over to the desert that's over here Ooh, ah, coca beans Ooh. no crap I want to hit Q because it's, mo it's a lot more convenient oh there's planes too yes but I think we're going to head to, oh, it's almost night time already. We have to go over there and kill some sheep. Okay, sheep, oh no, crap. Yeah, we have to kill Three little sheeps. Three little sheeps is all it takes. Yeah, three sheeps. Three sheeps. Oh, jeez, that's a lot of mobs over there. Okay, so now we have our three sheeps wool. Um, which we will need in a bit. Along with food. But we are out of food. We may have to, like, starve to death once. Then, yeah. Oh, and by the way, those aren't actually Thomcraft. That's actually the Project Red. Which I find kind of neat. Oh, yeah, this is surface ore. You need, like, a stone shovel for that, I think. Piggots. And horses. That's good. I really like the Underground Biomes mod. And I, I, I actually highly recommend it for any 
any sort of mod pack because it just works with anything because it doesn't do much doesn't add much and as long as you have like the extra plugin it replaces every single ore like you no know, every single thing where it uses stone she jump out of the water to um whatever it's called uh, changes all the stone into the game sort of or stone whatever <laughs> yep let me dig right in Ooh, nice that's a nice smart oh, yes. sweet so we have some marble just like a, a layer of marble Stone, I believe, is pretty... Oh, wow. It's really rare now, as far as I'm aware. So, yeah, to my farthest knowledge, it's like you have to actually find cobblestone somewhere, like in a dungeon. Yeah. Um, no, no, dude, you don't <laughs> use the sticks. Okay, we are going to use this. Um, this is like the. Oops, sorry, I had an itch on my head. My mic. This is basically the thing you get at the beginning whenever you. Um, get stuff. Wait, drying rack. Drying rack. What is that for? Huh. These are some new things. Slime channel. Bounce pad. Ooh. Cringy stick. Huh. Barricades. So you can make some sort of like barricade? Now, I'm going to stick that in there and that in there. Barricades. What? Wait. Oh. Oh, crap. Ah. So it's just like that. Ah. Uh -huh. Stacks up to four times. Huh? Oh, it might be like a wall. Okay, so you have like a little barricade. For whatever we're going to need that for. So, we're gonna munch on some of this. Then, we're going to take that with this. And then we're going to plop down our bed. Because beds are essential. One does not simply live without a bed. Well, I mean, you can. People do. But... I need a bed. Oh, and also... Darn. Sleep now. Hush, child. Okay, Q. Temp. Home. There we go. So now we have our beef. Not our beef! Our pork! Our pork's melting up. I'm gonna place us down a little cheese. And stow away some of our stuff. Um, grab the barricade, I'm gonna use that. Grab some of those torches. Um, put that away. Uh -huh. Get some of this. That, my pork, and Max, because we're probably going to need that. All that's done, grab that. Uh, head on up. I actually think I should do this. But 
Uh, yeah. Okay. Okay, I got it, guys. I got it. Oh, crap. Uh, huh. Okay. And then we'll put a barricade right here. So I have to break the barricade to get in. Cause screw logic. Sweet. So we have a nice little... Well, there's a creeper over there. Oh. You little beautiful. Oh. I've been, I've been touched in ways I don't want to be touched. You touched me, mommy. You sick man. How dare you touch my baby. You freak. Um... So, this is sort of new. This didn't- this wasn't like this before. Um, in the past, you couldn't find those tree- um, rubber trees. That's nice. You couldn't find rubber trees, really, in forests. I think- they, it wasn't that they were super rare, it's the fact that they would only spawn in swamps. There's- There's so many skeletons right here. Okay. If I could expose these demons to daylight, that could be something. So there's five here. Now the thing is, I don't want to go down there. There's, there's much too many mobs. I'm gonna put this marble. Just be cautious. So, this is ooh, ooh. So this is really great. Uh, that must be the cave that that leads into. But this is really great. We have a volcano over there for basalt and a ton of lava. These things go down to almost bedrock. I've tested that out. A lot of rubber trees over here in this forest. Nice building planes, oil, that cool ravine and jungle over there, tons of available wood in that forest, um, and a desert. So we're actually in a really good area, because we can get a ton of early resources, like, oh man, at the sugar cane. <laughs> we can get a ton of early resources, and it will help us build up for the future. Now, there's three new mods that I added that I'd like to quickly go over. Um, just give me one second. Okay, so there's three mods I'd like to quickly go over that we have installed. Um, as you know, we have the Tinker's Construct now installed. Um, I, th I think that's all of them. Mm -hmm. I th that should be all the ones that I can think of, at least. Tinkerer's Construct, pretty good mod. Then we added the Open Blocks mod. Oh no, there's four. <laughs> um, yeah, so we have the Tinkerer's Construct, Open Blocks mod. Now, Open Blocks is really, really good in my opinion. So let's do at mod dot open blocks. See if you put the Z. Nope, it's sort of by actual name. So these are all the things that are actually in the Open Blocks mod. There is a lot. And I'm going to be using the paint and stencils a lot, as much as I can, at least. There's really cool stuff. There's an auto anvil, enchant. These tanks are really nice. They're somewhat expensive, but they're really good. Jaded ladder. Oh man, that's that's really useful. I think graves drop when you die. I, I haven't died, so I can't test it. Um, but I'm pretty sure that's how that works. Rope ladder. And... But yeah, you have a bunch of stuff like this. Canvas is going to be really useful, as well as the paint mixer and the paint brushes and all that stuff, because those thing those are what we're gonna be running off of basically um, to paint a lot of our walls making a lot of walls like interior stuff that is really nice so I I, I honestly believe think what I'm going to do is I'm gonna build some sort of house 
modernish if I could try and what I'm going to do is I'm going to have it where the in where the walls themselves are actually canvases and I'm going to be oh my goody gumdrops there's a slime thing um the walls themselves are going to be just regular old uh canvas with that are painted and then the exterior however the exterior oh nice that's small that's good um yeah. slime and ha uh, um if i die i'm dead i'm well obviously but it's really cool um so no i'm gonna use the micro blocks from the micro from red project red I can't get up here <laughs> that is a tinkerer's construct generation by the way so it's part of if I added that I also had to take out the thumb um, I'd have to restart the world anyways thumb crap take that out definitely would have to update everything because a, so many like, world generations that would just corrupt the whole world. It could ruin my Minecraft game. Look, there's blue slimes up there. Look at those demons. Mock oh my gosh, he fell! <gasps> we have a blue slime pet. I'm going to name you Jimmy. No, not Jimmy. I'm gonna call you. I'm gonna call you. Dead. No! Yeah, there you go. Hey, you didn't drop anything. Dang it. <clears throat> but I need to hurry up and get on to my next two months. So. Uh, I'm just exploring the desert while I go. So, don't mind me. It's sort of background. Um. Okay, good. I still have this. Print. Um. The... Um, yes, so the next mod after that is mod- I'm kind- I'm- I'm somewhat excited for it. It's- it's more of a Whoa! It's- it's a- this is nice. The, it's more of a convenience sort of mod in a way, but it- it, it does add a bit of, um, exploration too. And world generation. So again, I'd have to remake the world. Um. Oh no, no more snow. We're in a pretty good area though, altogether. Um. Um, overall, uh, wait, no, I'm talking about, okay, the mod that I'm talking about, this next mod is n called the Dimensional Doors mod, it's, it has some uses in game, it's not gonna be a lot, for the most part, it'll probably be like, sort of a, a an absolutely positively easier way to transport myself from one place to another besides using the nether because the nether is super inconvenient and you can it's a lot of work where this um mod pretty much uses pocket dimensions that are small and can be large but they're black and abyss-like, and I, I just, it just feels nice and cozy in there. I really don't have claustrophobia at all. <sighs> um, which, which is kind of good. And I guess. But, um, then finally, we should probably head back home. No. What the? <gasps> Another slime land. That is a... Oh, crap. Crap. Bip, bip, stamp. Okay. That is a big freaking slime. And kill. And... Kill. Okay. And mark. Slime land two. Now run home. Back. So yeah. I'm coming up on the end of this episode, by the way, guys. So, 
Um, the final mod that I'm going to show you, talk about, is a mod that I'm actually pretty excited about. This is the one that I, um, I, this is actually the main reason I took out Thumbcraft. Um, I, I had the mod installed already, and there was no world gens. It was going to be, it was going to be fine. You know, I didn't, I was going to just not have to reset it. Man, there's a lot of rubber. I wasn't going to have to reset my entire world and that sort of stuff. But, I killed a mob using a weapon in this mod, and it crashed. And I could not have that, because it's primarily a weapons mod. It is called the Flintlock Guns Mod. It, and I haven't heard a lot, I haven't heard of it before. It's, and it's not, no, it's, it's nothing like the than most other gun mods. It's more of a... Uh, I guess the best way to put it is that it's more of like some of those smaller mods where they're less like complex and um, detailed and sort of that s sort of stuff, but it is a mod with a great... Um, bleh. Bleh. It has um, a great amount of oh great zombies has a great amount of sort of detail and really clever um, it's re it's really clever uses of the abilities that I think the modder had but they are really good so let's get the flintlock um, this is the makeshift gun which is made like that with smooth stone to that and that and then you have your regular pistol which is a flintlock mechanism which is five iron ingots as well, oops, as well as so there's eight iron ingots that's required and we have eight iron ingots you need a flint though um, but yeah I'm gonna do that off camera and get a pistol going and that sort of stuff. But oh wait, no. Yeah, I do. Sorry. <laughs> um, I'm gonna get that off camera, guys. But I hope you guys have enjoyed. As have enjoyed. I guess you could say the first episode, but it's technically the third episode of my series. Um, I really do hope you guys love this. Um, like the series. Um, so this has been Emerald MC. Coming at you live from my Minecraft world, in, wrapped up in blankets and warmth and yes. <sighs> but yes, yeah, this is Emerald MC, your guru of gurus in Minecraft. See you guys next time. Bye.